Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna give you a quick start guide to Lightroom. When you first open up Lightroom, or if you're new to it, it can be very, very confusing. So in about 10 minutes time, I'm gonna get you up and running in Lightroom so that you can be playing around and having some fun with it. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Now, before we start, I want to ask you if you could please support us here at the School of Photography. And to do that, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like the videos and share the stuff with your friends. It really, really helps us out and I would really appreciate that. Okay, using Lightroom is actually quite simple when you know the system and the way it works. And it pretty much works like this. You import images from a card or from the hard drive, you play around with them and you export them into wherever you want it to go. And if you think of it in them three stages, it's a really easy thing to do. Import, develop, export. Easy as that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so when you open up Lightroom, it might look totally different to this, but don't worry at all. Firstly, I want you to make sure that you are on your library tab at the top here, and then you click Import. And this screen will come up here. Now, you should really be working in raw files when you're working with Lightroom to get the full benefit out of Lightroom. If you've not got any raw files, what I recommend you do is go out and take a few shots before you do this tutorial. Now, I've got another tutorial on YouTube. I'm gonna put a link up to it right now, which tells you the difference between a raw file and a JPEG file. So take a look at that as well if you need to know what a raw file is. Okay, so you can import from a camera card or from your local hard drive. If you've got a camera card plugged in, it will come up up here under source. I haven't at the minute, I'm gonna import directly from my hard drive. So let's find uh, my one here and it will be in images to process there. And I'm gonna import my stuff here. I was just out on a shoot in Tenerife and I need to import these and process them and get them out for a client. And this is what I'm gonna do. So I've selected my folder, here is all of the pictures from that shoot as loads and loads and loads. Now all the ticks on the top mean that you're gonna import all of them, all of the ones with the ticks. Now, I don't like that, I wanna sort out my pictures before I import them, and that's what Lightroom's really good for. So what I actually do is I tick off of this setting at the top here, all photos. I select one of them, the first one, and I click this icon down the bottom here which brings it up as a big screen, a big image, sorry. And then I can go left or right on my arrow keys and that will take me through the images. And then the ones that I like, I select. I'm just gonna select a few just at random just so that you can see um, what's happening. Um, let's just say I want these as well. I can just select them, so on and so forth, okay? and. If I now click back out on this here, you can see that they're the ones that I've selected to import. Now you keep going basically, keep going through all of your images and you select the ones that you want to import. Now you don't wanna sit there and watch me do all of that. So I'm gonna select all the images that I want to import and come back to you in a minute. Okay, so now I've gone through all of my pictures from the shoot, and as you can see that some are ticked, some are not ticked, and again, ones that are ticked, we're gonna import. Now, because this is a quick start guide, do not worry about any of this for now. It's gonna import them as a raw file, and it's gonna convert them into what's called a DNG, which is Adobe's version of a raw file, and that's absolutely fine, that's what you want it's down here that you need to keep an eye on. And it's your destination. So it's basically, you're importing them from your camera card or from wherever you want to, a hard drive or whatever. And it's where are you going to put them? Now, as a quick start guide, just put them into your pictures for now or make a new folder anywhere to put them into just to get you going. Now for me, I've already got a landscapes folder um, that I put my landscapes in 
and I'm going to name it. I'm going to put it into a into a subfolder, into the landscapes folder, and I'm going to call this one well exactly what it is to be honest, which is what I like calling things. So this is Tenerife, the tenth of the first two thousand and seventeen. So it's going into a subfolder into my landscapes folder and you can see there that's where it's going to go and once you're happy with all of that you just click import and then up the top here it's going to copy and import all of your fold photos into that folder so again just so that you know it's gone from your camera card or your hard drive it's now being processed through Lightroom and it's being put into a folder of your choice that is your import and organize now this is going to take a while to, to do so I'll come back to you in a sec okay Lightroom will finish importing them and converting them into DNGs and just so that you know it hasn't deleted your original pictures it's made a copy of them so if you want to you can delete them originals or you can store them somewhere else so that you've got backups um, but it's nice to keep organized so now you're working with the ones that Lightroom have copied into your photography folder now once you've done that just select one which one here will do and then we're going to click develop up here so click develop and it will bring up one of the pictures now because this is a quick start guide i'm not going to go through all this in any great detail we're just going to have a little play around and that's exactly what i want you to do so we've imported them now we're going to develop them and in a minute we're going to export them so in here just have a little play around let's bring up some no, let's bring some some of the highlights down bring up some of the shadows put some blacks in it like that and I'm going to go down to camera calibration down here I'm going to change it to landscape yeah that's quite nice probably a little bit too blue and uh, let's bring up the shadows a little bit more at the top here but anyway I'm not going to go through this this is a quick start guide you go through this yourself and remember that this is on top of your DNG so you've always always got the original file and if you if you do it all wrong and you don't like it you just click the reset button and it goes back to normal so you just click that so it, it's not a problem whatsoever just have a play around click things and have some fun with it and then once you've done that it's quite simply export the file so you export it as a JPEG file so you can send it to someone or print it out or something like that and that's really easy you right click you go to export click export at the top now your one's going to look different to this because I've got lots of presets here and that's a whole nother tutorial but don't worry about these things you having a quick start guide you're just going to get used to it at the top here select hard drive from here select choose folder later then right down the bottom here you just click export it will ask you what folder you want to export it into you choose a folder click export and it will export it as a JPEG that's what it does by default now you can change all of them settings if you want to and that's pretty much it so let's do it export let's select a folder let's just put it on the desktop for now and up the top here it's exporting the file for me and that will be on my desktop ready for me to view as a JPEG so let's just recap on the quick start guide import organize develop export just do that just get yourself used to it and have a play around and there you go that's your quick start guide to Lightroom I really really hope it's helped you out and if it has please help us out by subscribing and liking the video sharing it with your friends and if you want to learn more about Lightroom come over to the school of photography.com where we teach you Lightroom and there's lots of free stuff that you can have as well so come and see us at the school of photography.com and we also have a brilliant learning community on social media so come and see us at Facebook and Instagram join into the competitions and you'll also get notified of all of our free stuff on there as well it's been great to teach you thanks for watching and remember learn more at the School of Photography